Hey there, everyone, and welcome back to Google Guru. Over the past few months and weeks, Google's introduced a lot of new updates to Google Hangouts, and the approach here is to make Hangouts a much more viable option for enterprise customers and really anyone that wants to use Hangouts as a complete video conferencing solution. So the past couple updates have included the ability to access Hangouts from any Google Apps account, so you don't actually have to have a Google Plus account anymore. 99.9% uh, uptime for Hangouts, as well as the ability to actually eject someone from a Hangout. So like I said, a lot of, lot of updates coming out right now, so I figured it was a good time to do a video introduction into Hangouts and all the tools that you have available to you there. So you can see right now that I'm actually already inside of a Hangout with my Guru account as well as my uh, Better Cloud account. So if I want to invite anyone else to this Hangout, I'll just go up to the top of my screen and click invite people and I can share this specific link here or I could add names circles or email addresses and if I choose to invite someone I can click this option here for a quiet invitation which will actually mute them as they join the hangout so that's a really good option the other tools up here at the top of the screen include the ability to mute your own microphone hide your camera adjust your bandwidth usage so if you are on a uh, poor internet connection you can reduce your bandwidth so the audio will come through clear or you can remove the video completely to take up a little bit less bandwidth. And you have some settings here for your device as well. So other than that, the really cool thing about Google Hangouts are these apps over here on the left hand side of your screen. So these are all native Google apps that you see here. And there's also third party apps available which we're not going to cover right now. We're just going to touch on these Google apps but if you're interested you can definitely explore some of those third-party tools. So, for example, we have chat here, which is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, screen share, which we use uh, a ton during our Hangouts on Air. So, if I click this the uh, desktop option, you'll see this cascading window start here. Um, taking a look at my desktop. Um, I also have the option here to capture, so that just takes a quick screenshot of uh, what's inside the Hangout. And one of my favorites here is the Hangout Toolbox. So the Hangout Toolbox lets you customize your Hangout to fit your specific needs. So the thing that I really like is this lower third option here, which is great if you're in a Hangout with a lot of people and they may not know each other, and it gives a little bit more information about who's actually in the Hangout. So to take a look at what that looks like, let's switch over to the other screen here. So now that I'm in the Hangout on this other account, I'm just going to add a little bit of information about myself to personalize it with the Hangout Toolbox. So I'll add my name and then my company here and then I'll enable it. And if we switch over to this view here, you can see that I have this nice little uh, window right below. Let's see if I can pull this off right here. This nice little toolbar here with, uh, with my information. So. It's a really neat feature for Hangouts, and like I mentioned, it's uh, great when you're in a larger Hangout and people may not know each other. So there's other options here that you can use uh, for like customizing your volume and uh, comment trackers, but the thing that I really, really like is this lower third option here. So the other apps that you have here, Control Room is not available because this is only allowed for Hangouts on Air, but this allows you to control exactly what people see inside the Hangout, so which person is uh, showing their screen, which which people are speaking, that sort of stuff. And then the last app that I want to cover here is this Google Drive app. So this is great for collaborating with people in real time. So you know that you can edit documents in Google Drive with people at the same time. But this allows it to be a little bit more personal. So you can pull up a doc and both of you actually work on it together at the same time uh, while you're inside the Hangout. So you can see each other and discuss a document and make changes as well. If you're interested in exploring more of the apps that you have available for, ha for Hangouts, just click this little ellipses here and there's some more options from Google and you can also click to add apps and this is where you'll find some of these third-party tools. A uh, lot of great stuff here. Uber Conference is a great option for some more video conferencing tools. So that's your quick introduction to Google Hangouts. There's a lot of stuff in here, definitely worth exploring and learning for yourselves, but hopefully this is just a quick uh, tutorial for those of you who are a little bit hesitant to try out Hangouts as a 
video conferencing solution. So if you have any questions about Hangouts, feel free to leave us a comment in the section below the video. Thanks.